as the founder of the AMA. I'm deeply appreciated those who come from the all over the world. Not only from Asia, but also from the Africa and Latin America and Europe as well as North America. We are representing Asia Missions Association, but most of the participants of here come from the all over the world. One of the very important person is here, international coordinator of the movement of Asia African National Initiative. Ruben Esmad, would you stand up, please? <laughs> and also, from Latin America, Kamibam represented here. Kamibam is the uh, all the Latin American nationals involvement of the evangelism and mission. Would you stand up the Kamibam delegates? Thank you. The reason why we are having a Manila AMA convention. Most of you Filipino will not know how we Asia Missions Association cooperate with PMA since its beginning. Long time ago, Matt Castillo started this. I invited him after he got the PA, uh, doctoral degree from the Fuller School of World Mission. I initiated him to organize PMA. He requested to me, come to Philippine Manila. We have to together organize PMA. That's why the PMA organized through the AMA's influence and the uh, initiative. That's why we are here. Not only that, but also PMA invited AMA missionary Dr. Yongji Cho. I sent him under the PMA missionary to Philippines. Yongji Cho is here. Yeah. He was the uh, AMA missionary to PMA. His office was with PMA together. That's why we requested to PMA become host this convention. I'm really appreciated. PMA did everything, all the arrangement of this convention, really appreciated you. However, I have to say something about uh, one of the Filipino lady deeply and sacrificially served this preparation of the our convention here. Her name is Dumpur and Drosse. Dumpur here? It's Dumpur here? Without her sacrificial service, we will not be, we was not be possible to have the successful preparation of the, uh, our convention. I'm really appreciated. Elma Dulcero Dumpur and also PMA. Thank you again. Thank you again. Thank you.
it's such a great joy for PMA to be hosting the Asia Missions Association Triennial Convention. It's our first time to host it, and so we are really excited about what God will be doing here in the next uh, few days uh, of time together here in Manila. And um, this time, I would like us to call on Dr. Timothy Park. He's the head chairman of the Asia Missions Association. Welcome. Welcome to AMA Manila 2016. We are gathered here together to hold the 12th Triennial Convention of Asia Missions Association. On behalf of the AMA officers, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to you for attending this history convention and engaging in our dialogue on issues of globalization and mission. As our General Secretary Steve Arm wrote in his welcome address, futurologists say that the changes that had occurred in the last 100 years are equivalent to the whole of the changes human history experienced. And the changes that will occur in the, up, the coming 20 years will be the equivalent of the changes that have occurred in the last 100 years. We are living in a rapidly changing world. The world in which we live has become a global village. Through the development of technology, communication, transportation, and immigration. Globalization is one of the trends we see in the 21st century world. The new world requires us to have a new understanding of mission, as well as to equip ourselves with the new strategies. Mission today has become a multi-ethnic enterprise and mission from everywhere to everywhere. Globalization has had a great impact on the strategy of world mission. The theme for the 12th Triennial Convention of AMA Manila 16 is globalization and mission. The word of God does not change, but the environment that the world is to be preached is constantly changing. The church has the responsibility of preaching the unchanging word of God to the ever-changing world. To do this, we must not only have a correct understanding of the messages of God, but also of the changing world. We will hear what God speaks to us through his servants, and we will deal with the issues involved in mission today on the basis of the word of God. We cannot thank you enough for your unique contributions to the convention. Dr. Jacob Nawe of um, Marwar Saron Church of Indonesia, Dr. Peter Chin of the Global uh, Mission Church of Korea, and Reverend Ken Choi of Togamsa Mission Church of Los Angeles, Korean Union Church of Manila, New Life Church of Manila, Jeja Church of Man Manila, and Kimpo Full Gospel Church for their financial contribution. And thanks to PMA for hosting this history convention. Dr. Steve Ohm of East West Center for Missions Research and Development, uh, USA, and his team members. 
And uh, many other people, uh, I did not uh, mention their name, who uh, made the sacrificial contributions to the hosting of this convention. Thanks to the speakers and the participants, you are blessings to us. May the Lord bless us all. May receive glory and honor. May speak to us that we may know what to do. God bless you. Welcome again. I'd like to call on Dr. Larry Pabiona, the senior pastor of Greenwich Christian Fellowship, to give us a word, words of welcome. Dr. Larry Pabiona. Palakpak naman dyan. Clap our hands. Good evening, everyone. And welcome not only to the Philippines, but welcome to Green Hills Christian Fellowship. You are sitting in a church that has as its highest uh, goal to know Christ and to make Him known. And so when we were singing tonight and we were worshiping God together, I realized that by coming here today from your various countries of origin, you brought worship to this church. So on behalf of the congregation here, thank you for blessing us with your worship. It was the Reverend Dr. John Piper who said, missions exist because worship does not. And so the prayer of our hearts, the reason why we said yes when you said we'd like to hold the convention here is that because we know what will happen from this entire convention is more worship for God. Because as we pray together, as we plan together, as we look at all these things that we're going to do together, I know that it, by the grace of God, will enable us to do missions better, to partner together. And I pray that we will see that. Thank you again on behalf of this church that you're sitting in. We give glory to God for your presence, and God bless you.